Welcome to Emacs 2, Louis Shell here. In this video, we are going to talk about the cheapest zoom lens you can buy for your macro photo camera. And when I'm talking about macro photo camera, I'm talking about the king of the macro photo camera, the GH5 or your GH85, your GH4, or any other camera made by Olympus basically can mount that lens. It's the Olympus 40 to 150 millimeter. So we're going to talk about that lens. We're going to talk about the build quality, how that lens can do in low light situation. The Olympus 40 to 150 millimeter f4025.6 the lens is extended when you zoom in the build quality of the lens feel very cheap that is to be expected because the lens going to only cost you about 99 dollars and we're talking about the olympus uh, 40 to 150 millimeter f4.0 to 5.6 uh the lens is not weather sealing so you cannot take that lens and go shoot outside as you touching that lens you can feel it it's a little bit uh, a shaky the plastic is not the best quality when i compare that lens with my 12 to 60 millimeter that also made out of plastic but the mouth on that 12 to 60 is not plastic but when you touch these two lens i'm talking about the 12 to 60 the plastic feel a little bit higher grade and when you zooming all the way on that olympus 40 to 150 millimeter you can hear a little noise like a cricket noise when you reach that extended to 150 millimeter i'm not sure if that is part of my copy but however you can hear that noise if you are zooming and when you reach that 150 millimeter uh, capacity you will hear that quick noise so you can watch out for that to see if you have one if it does that that probably in my copy the lens doesn't have optical stabilization uh if you're shooting with a gh4 g7 uh, or other uh, olympus camera that do not have uh, and body image stabilization, you're gonna suffer a little bit to keep your image stable, so you're gonna need a tripod. But however, if you own a GH5 or the G85, those cameras with the and body image stabilization, these cameras have, they're gonna help you uh, get quality image. But however, even though you have an body image stabilization, if you have a tripod to keep uh, your image steady, that would be another option to get. A better image with that lens that is not uh, shaky. Another part of that lens I think is gonna fail you, like I said, 40 uh, millimeter to 150 millimeter f4 to 5.6, that lens is going to struggle in low light situation and that is to be expected, especially with the small sensor that don't attract as much as light as a full frame or APS-C size sensor. So since this camera have a smaller sensor, they're not going to attract as much light and the lens start at 4.0, you're going to be struggle. I would recommend this lens for people most likely that is going to shoot outside. Like most of my shot, as you can see, it was outside shooting birds and uh, nature uh, all together. So the lens can get you some great, great image in those situation. But if you're going to shoot inside, like in a church, uh, shooting, um, a uh, live event inside uh, of any kind of stadium or, or what have you, you're going to need some light to get some help with that lens because at 4.0, you're not going to get much light inside uh, that uh, a camera to get better image. So lens that would be a little bit better than this one is the 35 to 100 millimeter, the Panasonic lens. And they also have another Olympus lens that is the same lens with that one, 40 to 150, F to 8, but going to cost you uh, 10 times the amount of money. It's not without any reason they decide to charge you that much money for it. It's because they know people that shoot pro uh, photo or pro video that's going to expect to get paid are going to get that lens instead of the 4.0 to uh, 5.6 because in low light situation you can shoot at a lower ISO going to reduce the type of grainy uh, video that you can make or grainy pictures that you can take with a 4.0. And also, as you can see, the front of the lens doesn't have that little deep. Easily, you can put some finger point on it that can um, basically wound your images. So you have to watch out for that. These lens also do not come with a lens cap. You're going to have to purchase a lens cap of maybe for about $20 to uh, $30 to put on top of that lens. This is basically my two cents of the Olympus 40 
to 150 millimeter, most likely directed from uh, people that are going to the zoo with their kids or shooting only outside, you can get some great images, but planning on shooting inside with that low light and small sensor, you're not gonna get too much out of it. I would like to thank you for watching. If you like the video, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, we would love to have you as a subscriber. And also remember to hit that bell so Google could notify you when we upload our new video. And our first giveaway on the channel going to be on our next video, probably a week, let me say a week from today, we're gonna have the first uh, giveaway and we're gonna give a mic, a budget microphone, not the best, but however, gonna give you better quality than your onboard mic on the camera. So if you'd like to participate on that giveaway, the things you gotta do is comment on that video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let us know why you would like to win the mic. This is basically what we're gonna be giving away is the Comica uh, CVM V30, a microphone that I review on, on that channel. Not the best microphone that you can buy out there, but however, better quality uh, than your onboard mic. So if you do not have one, you would like to participate, go ahead, put your comment, comment on that video. Let us know why you would like to uh, win that mic and what you what you planning on doing with that mic. And also, you have to be a subscriber to the channel to win. So as you already know, without a dream, we reach nothing. Without love, we feel nothing. And without creating, we express nothing. Get your camera out, create something though. And as always, I will catch you on the next video.